Today, in Dover, the Planning Board has their regular meeting. In Sharon, the Sharon Board of Education has their regular meeting at 6 p.m. The American Rescue Plan Act, ARPA, September 20th at 6.30. In Sheffield, a working meeting tonight at 5.30 for the Select Board, and the Select Board has their regular meeting at 7 p.m. In Salisbury, tonight at 6.30, the Planning and Zoning Commission meets. The next Board of Education meeting for the Weavertuck School District is tonight at 7 p.m. via Zoom. The link is available on their website. In Kent, Social Services Assistance Hiring Committee meets at 10 a.m. Zoning Board of Appeals meets with a special meeting at 7 p.m. The Dover Union Free School District has an Instructional Curriculum Management Committee meeting from 3.30 till 4.30. In Sharon, the Sharon Housing Authority has a meeting set for 5 o'clock and the Board of Finance at 7. Region 1 has a Board of Education special meeting via Zoom at 6.30. In Cornwall, 7.30, the Board of Selectmen meeting via Zoom. In Salisbury on Wednesday at 5.30, the Salisbury Affordable Housing Commission has a special meeting. Region 1 has an ABC committee meeting coming up on Wednesday at 7 p.m. North Canaan meeting and events. The public hearing for blight ordinance happens at 7 p.m. on the 22nd. Board of Selectmen at the 22nd have their public hearing for the food truck committee at 7.30. In North Canaan on the 23rd, Inland Wetlands meeting is at 7 o'clock. In Cornwall on the 25th, 9.30 to 11, birds, blooms, and butterflies draw natured and colored pencil. The Cornwall Library, 30 Pine Street in Cornwall. Colleen Hurst, September 11th and 18th, 10 to 11.30, and September 25th, 9.30 to 11. At 10 a.m. in Cornwall, the Women's Society has a book sale at the Parish House, 8 Bolton Hill Road. Two weekends of serious fun at the Parish House at Bolton Hill Road in Cornwall. Proceeds for the book sale will go to the scholarship fund and for Cornwall students. Here's check on stories we're following for you today on Robert Hood Radio. Pat Pagano's Tri-State Forecast. Partly sunny mid-70s today. Cloudy with showers tomorrow, 75 to 80. On Thursday, showers and a thunderstorm, 75 to 80. Friday, the showers tapering off, 70 to 75. We'll get the full details in just a few moments. Region 1 Special Education Director will retire at the end of this month. Carl Gross, Director of Special Ed at Region 1, will retire at the end of September. That announcement was made at this month's Board of Education meeting. He told board members he realized it was a unique time of year to make such a move, but he's been provided with an opportunity. He was asked to be the Project Director at a new initiative between the University of Connecticut and the State Department of Education called, quote, Aspiring Leaders in Special Education, end quote. COVID-19 cases in the state of New York have surged 19% over the past week, according to state and federal records. The state reported over 37,000 new cases, up from 31,000 new cases the previous week. But the increase in New York is still ranked among the lowest in the nation for COVID spread over the past week. The state was 46 among states where coronavirus was spreading uh, the fastest on a per-person basis, according to USA Today. New York State on Monday awarded contracts to two companies with plans to deliver solar, wind, and hydropower from upstate and Canada to New York City along routes that call for transmission cables along the bottom of the Hudson River. The winning projects, the Champlain Hudson Power Express and Clear Path New York, were among seven vying for the opportunity to deliver green energy to New York City as part of the state's effort to reduce the city's reliance on fossil fuels. The contracts will need to backing of the State Public Service Commission before permits are granted. Bad news out of Sandsfield. An apparent kitchen fire early on Saturday ravaged MJ Truckers Pizza and Pub, a social institution known for its charm and food. Firefighting crews from 10 communities in Massachusetts and neighboring Connecticut responded to the fire at about 8.15 in the morning, with several companies initially fighting at the fire in the kitchen area, then extinguishing flames that had spread to the roof, according to the Tallinn Fire Department, whose crew arrived after the first alarm. Sandusfield Fire Chief Ralph Morrison and the owners of Truckers could not be reached for Comment. Photos of the building taken by Tallinn firefighters and posted on Facebook show a blackened, heavily damaged kitchen and heavy smoke pouring out 
of the building. The Sharon Classic Road Race, a 36-year tradition, combines small-town charm with big race amenities. What began as a small but meaningful fundraiser for the Sharon Daycare Center has evolved into a significant early spring race in the northwest quarter. Very successful as a fundraiser. The main event and five-mile race will begin at 10.15 with registration at 8.30 on the 25th. Kids event begins at 9.30 with the fun run, which is organized in two age groups. The popular Not Quite a Mile Kids race begins at 9.45, and it's for children through age 12. The course is a beautiful route through town and rural sections of town. The lollipop route has gently rolling hills with a good climb in the fourth mile. They provide water stations and timers along the course. One of the most enjoyable courses to run in the northwest corner, the Classic, is a great way to start the racing season and an excellent way to warm up for larger races. Our business brief is underwritten by Morgan's at the Interlaken, interlakeninn.com. You'll also find them on Facebook and Instagram and by Salisbury Bank, Salisbury Bank. Dot com. The Dow Jones Industrial Average starts off today at 33,970.47, the NASDAQ at 14,713.90, and the S&P 500 at 4357.73. We'll take a look at the tri-state forecast. That'll come your way in just a few moments. <music> 